Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to show you a progression on one of our exercises we've shown in the past before. We've done leopard crawl. We've done backward leopard crawl. We've done lateral leopard crawls. We're going to add to it. We're actually going to do leopard crawls with a dumbbell. And the reason we do this is it starts to challenge the shoulders and the core more. You find athletes that can leopard crawl for a long distance. Sometimes we don't want high volume. I mean, we've talked before on wanting to train on that force velocity curve in different areas, and we want to do that in as many different exercises and movement patterns as we can. This is a great way, instead of just doing reps, 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 we can actually add the strength component to leopard crawl. So what we're going to do is coach is going to grab these dumbbells, and he's going to get in his exact leopard crawl position that he normally does. And nothing changes. We're going to go right arm with left knee, and they're going to move at the same time, He's going to establish himself, and he's going to move left arm and right knee. Now, coach has circular dumbbells, which makes it a little bit harder. You may have hex, hexagon or pentagon dumbbells, which allows you to have a flat surface. This challenges some wrist mobility and stability. This also challenges some scapular mobility and stability. And that's why we really like this exercise, and he's still getting the core that we normally get out of a leopard crawl. So, quick video today. Throw this in on your athletes or with your population that's already mastered the leopard crawl or you're looking for a variation that makes it a little bit harder besides just throwing a weight on the back, which we've done before. Uh, I think you'll really love the way this works out and continue to check us out. We'll see you guys next time.